even these big artists that we see traveling the world today, like, you know, the they travel with loads of backup dancers and you have someone who's responsible for conducting all the choreography for the show. Um, makeup. Makeup. That's what it's I'm saying. Open. All these things. So that all becomes part of the creative... Um, creative experience if you see what I mean it's one big creative um, you know workstation essentially you've got you know the artist who creates and, and does the music then you've got the DJ or whoever is responsible for pe playing the music and DJing for that person let's because let's say okay let's just use a rapper say for example most of the time a rapper goes up on stage he's gonna have his DJ playing his you know the background vocals for, you know the, sorry not background but um, the background instrumentals for him if you see what I mean in a certain order they're gonna come up with a certain order in a certain way in which they're gonna deliver the songs if you see what I mean this is gonna be the first song I'm, go I'm gonna go out there to you know and then this is gonna be the last song that I play before I finish my set if you see what I mean um, so it's all planned, it's all creatively, strategically planned, if you see what I mean, it's all... It can be, the better you do it. <laughs> yeah. It's like you can plan a party, can you? Yeah, or yeah. Plan, plan, a, plan a wedding or a celebration. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's all relevant. And it depends yeah. how good you're at planning it, or mm. sometimes money helps. Yeah, um, yeah. If, if you want a good wedding, you know, money, mm. money will help. It'll help buy a better cake. Yeah. And so on. Yeah. To have the wedding, yeah, um, and so on, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think you know, like human beings, but you know, basically, we're very creative. We are, but, you know, we always have been. Yeah, century after century, people have been making things. Yeah, whether you know, it's pottery or writing books. Well, history, or, history just proves it, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, throughout we can even even with like pyramids, pyramids, yeah, basic things such buildings. as the pyramids and yeah. People, you know, you look at the art with the pyramid, you know, the Egyptian art. And yeah. That, you know the art that's gone into it or whatever. Yeah. Um, there were artists back then. They were always sort of like carving out rocks and, mm. and doing things like that. You know, back in time. Yeah. And didn't have TV back then, obviously. No. You know, they, they were mm. busy doing other things. If you saw what I mean, but. You know, man, after all, they've got hands. Yeah. You know, monkeys got hands too, haven't they? You know, yeah. But, like, chimpanzees, I think, their hands are very clever. They are clever, but they're not as smart as humans. No, no. We're, we're very clever. You know, we can pick up pins. We're intellectually inclined. Can you imagine yeah. that? We can pick up pins. Yeah. We can yeah. actually go like this and... You know, we're just, we're very intelligent with mm. our hands. Mm. I can't explain it. We always have been, you know, and that's why we've gone a very different way than most animals. Yeah. If you ask me, you know, like I say, birds got wings and all they do is fly. They don't go around building buildings or, or anything like that. Mm. Ants, they only got three senses, senses you know, they're blind. They're not, they've not evolved yet to get creative, you know. that. I expect they're creative in their own way, you know, and they, they, they do build nests and so on, you know, but mm. I don't think they're, you know, they're not as gone far advanced as we have. Yeah. You know, our imagination is, you know, not every person, obviously, you know, are huge compared mm. to a pigeon's yeah. or a frog's. Our imagination... Yeah. It's far more vast. Yeah, where we're, you know... For one, we've got a language, I yeah. think, you know, and mm. it's like, I don't think pigeons, for instance, they, they've um, created a language to discuss things or argue things with or anything like that, you know, where humans, they've actually created a language a long, long time ago. Mm. Um, it's evolved into lots of different languages today, if mm. you ask me, I think there was one language at the beginning, someone created out of write on rock or whatever, you know, with a bit of clay and um, a bit of reed apparently you know whatever and started realizing we can write we can you know and slowly in time man is sort of like a full writing I reckon and then realize that they can write down ingredients and write down information and keep this information you know and then they actually keep libraries and things you know these clay tablets and whatever you know and, and slowly in time we've evolved you know we've trying our invented paper thousands of years back, whatever, I can't remember when, but they yeah. invented paper. Mm. Um, and 
happened slowly in time. We're living in the world we are today, you know, yeah. and we've yeah. got pens today. This is what it's evolved into. Yeah, you know, ink, ink was discovered many, many years ago, or invented or whatever, or, mm. you know, mm. people being creative with material, isn't it? Yeah. And p to even today, man are put, make, um, um, discovering or coming up with new materials. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, like plastic, for instance, that's a pretty m new material, man-made. Um, man, are, even today, are trying to work on what they've got yeah. to make it better. Make it better. Make the bridges better. Mm -hmm. So they, you know, like a, if an earthquake happened, will that bridge fall down? Yes. Yeah. Like, they're making them earthquake proof. Yeah, more reinforced. And, you know, all yeah. the buildings are... Mm. Slowly in time, I think they're... I mean, are they getting better? Because sometimes I think, like, some of these houses, the states that they put up, they put them up quickly. They yeah. find a way, you know. And I look at some of these old houses, they're really, really big. Well, 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 yeah, 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 it's true, know? yeah. And it sort of depends how much money's put in, it, in the project, if you sort of mean, how good the idea is or the... You know, sometimes they put these houses states states up, and a decade later they're knocking them all down because they, you know, it's a completely bad idea and people didn't like it. Yeah, if yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. So, mm. I think we're always man's always evolving. We are learning from our mistakes as yeah. well. You know, mm. it's like that material they used in well, they use all over the place. I can't remember what it is, but it's some sort of like an aluminium or something they put around. Um, skyscrapers and tall buildings okay and it went up in flames didn't it you know and they realized this material oh was was well, flammable it was flammable you know and yeah it, you know they had to take it down on every building you know Do you know i mean it's a huge mistake we kind of like learning that we can't use this material anymore on materials because on, yeah. on buildings because it's too dangerous well a prime example of that was the grenfell thing when exactly it, the grenfell towers yeah. where the cladding Yes. of the building, what it was wrapped in, the cladding of the building was, like you said, deemed to be flammable. Yes. Um, yeah. And, yeah, how dangerous. But the thing, appa apparently too, they were aware of this fact too as well. Mm. Apparently they had been made aware of this fact. That's what's even worse to think about it. They were aware of it and were su supposed to have changed it because they had been, they'd been, been made aware of the fact that it could be potentially dangerous, if you see what I mean. Uh, but it wasn't changed in time before before tragedy tragedy struck if you see what I mean so mm. yeah so you know hopefully in the future they're going to put cladding up that's not you know that's well that won't go up like like it did well let's be honest right most things in life are trial and error mm. the advancement of technology and everything else in life has come through trial and error They've had to trial things, try to do things, try to build things, try to come up with different materials, ma designs, materials, um, different, you know, different ways to make different types of batteries and all sorts of different, you name it, if you see what I mean. So, so yeah. When you look at the first aeroplane, you know, it's, yeah. and I expect first, you know, a lot of people, number of people died, you know what I mean, mm. just experimenting. To get, yeah. Get what we got today. Until, until, until you, yeah, yeah. Until yeah. you perfect. I mean, look perfect like what the, they got today. They put giant big. Mm. You know, they, like, basically yeah. they put skyscrapers up in the. Yeah. Up, up flying with wings, if you see what I mean. Mm. Quite a number of people in there, you know. And you think, wow, you know, yeah. like, how can that heavy weight get up there? Yeah. But they managed, you know, man has managed to do it, mm. if you know what I mean. And they go at quite, at quite fast speeds too. Yeah. You know, like Concord, I don't know how fast that goes, but, mm. you know, it, um, as I say, man is constantly always working on machines. Evolving, yeah. Especially machines, you know, and motors and things like that, mm. to try to improve, on, you know, on the technology of what we've got today. Yeah. Make them quieter even, you know. Yes, yeah. And just mm. to improve on it. Yeah. Because that'd be good, Well, it? a prime example quiet. today is... They want to create, they want to make all the cars to be completely, um, peaceful, uh, what do you call it, eco-friendly, eco you know, they want all the cars to be electric, that's their goal, the ideal goal of the World Health Organization, World Health Organization, 
at the World Economic Forum and these different people, they would like all the cars by the year 2030 to all be electric. Um, and that's just, you know, that's just a prime example of it. But is it going to make the world better? Because I, I don't think so. You see, like I look at... Cause I, I, I think all that boils down to essentially is, is control, like with everything else. Well, what I see, you know? right, yeah, when, when, when a child is crossing the road, mm -hmm. or when I was a child, okay, mm -hmm. I have to learn the green cost code. Yeah. It's, um, listen. Mm -hmm. Look. Yeah, you know, because you can hear that motorbike there, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's really important to listen, yeah. look, and listen again. Yeah. Whatever, yeah? Look, both, look, code. look both ways. Look, listen, yeah? Because, I mean, it's like a hedgehog, all right? Yeah. A hedgehog will... When it's crossing the road, yeah. as soon as it hears a noise, like a motorbike, like we just heard just now, they're all up in a little ball. That's how it reacts, it will play dead. And that's why hedgehogs get killed more than any other animal. They're going near extinct today, yeah. Mm. Okay. Like, like, can you imagine if all cars were peaceful, didn't make a noise? Yeah. Right. More, I reckon more animals would get run over. Probably. You know, hedgehogs... They wouldn't hear it, mm. okay, the sound, okay, and they wouldn't roll up in the ball, because they wouldn't hear the sound, you know, they, they might survive actually, hedgehogs, you know, but, you know, I see that not hearing it coming is a real danger. It's even more dangerous, yeah. In kind of way. You in can kind imagine of way. a child in the dark crossing the road because you can't hear it, and then suddenly he's run over by a, a car going 60 miles per hour, mm. or you know, whatever, mm. you know, sound is very important. Especially when there's dangerous sort of cars, because I call them dangerous in a kind of way. They are dangerous after all. You know, when you get in any vehicle, you're driving a dangerous machine or, or a machine that can potentially kill something, you know, in a kind of way, mm. you know, or take something out of this existence, you know, if you sort of mean. Mm. And cars do do a lot of damage to nature, you know, they kill millions of birds worldwide each year, you know. Yeah. So, if, like, motor cars weren't invention, or the motor engine weren't invented at all, and there weren't any cars around today, our world would be full of birds today, and full of hedgehogs today. Mm. And I, I don't know, it just would, you know, like, say, a, I was talking about the radio, or just somebody coming up with that invention, change the reality of our whole world in a funny way you know people were talking about what's on you know what they've heard on the radio or whatever if you see what I mean you know mm, because yeah. of that invention or a lot of people have actually been, been able to show the, their art to the world or become artists or become famous you know to yeah. because the radio has helped them mm. become a star exactly yeah yeah same as television whatever but it's all kind of radio activity you know like the picture or hand of it, you know whatever yeah, yeah. so if, if somebody didn't invent that you can imagine our world today nobody would be, be talking about Michael Jackson's no, no, no. You know what I mean? or, yeah. Yeah. or anyone else or Elvis Presley or so on yeah. you know what I mean yeah. I don't know what people would be yeah if we still have, hadn't invented like cameras and you know things to record sound and all these various different devices. Well, this show would be existing. Exactly, exactly. You know, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. with the help of some other people's creation, like the camera, yeah. whoever created the camera. Our show has come to life. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, somebody come up with the idea of a camera a number of years ago, I think like 150 years ago, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Right, and it's just a box with a, a hole in it. Yeah. And you could see a picture. Yeah. You know, you could make it yourself a camera. Mm. Believe it or not, yeah. Mm. But since that guy's come up with that invention, a number of people have been working on it, you know, and become, you know, like today, look at it. Yeah. The technology with the camera mm. is amazing. Yeah. You know, the zooms on them and everything, you know. Mm. But I think, like, it's just taking a number of people just putting their heads on it, hours after hours, yeah. decades after decades. Yeah. Not just one person. Experimenting. Not just one person, hundreds, hundreds. thousands of people just mm. trying to experiment to improve it. Yeah. And they have. Yeah. They've improved that they've got 
what screens are well, and they're, they're digital today. They're all working with the same common goal, which is to make it a reality. Take the idea in which they all have in their minds mm. and make it into a reality. If you see what I mean. And that's a beautiful thing in it. Mm. You know? Yeah. It's, it's, there's something quite spiritual about it. To me, anyway. You know? Taking something, taking an idea and bringing it into reality. No matter what it may be, whether it be a song or creation or whatever. No matter what it is. Like, there's just something truly spiritual about that to me. Like, having an idea, having a vision, you know, and just literally manifesting it, you know doing what is required and what is necessary in order to bring it into fruition and to manifest that it's quite, you know, mm. quite spiritual. Well, know? I think that's what makes it beautiful, really, that yeah. we can create. Mm. You know, yeah. I think it gives it purpose, Yeah, that's for sure. I'd say a lot of people out there uh, in jobs they don't really enjoy doing, you know, they're spending mm. a lot of time doing, they things they don't want to enjoy mm. they want to do things they want to enjoy but they just can't mm. in a kind of way you know because it looks like I've been there you know working coming home and then putting the children to bed because you just don't get time yeah. you know to put yourself mm. in a kind of way yeah but like so today I can yeah I get all the time in the world you know my children are growing up I don't see my wife anymore I'm free I'm free to be creator now I feel you know I feel like when you're married a bit it kind of like you have to give up your time yeah and um, you can still create like you do yeah you know but you have to I feel you really have to be disciplined you know because you have to put your children to bed you have to sort them out and do sleep and then you go to work and then you know you've got an hour of spare to put all your energy into what you love you know and you, you don't give up you know and you just you know you've got to do other things sometimes and it's you know and you're happy doing those things and you're just patient yeah i think you know that's another important thing being patient got to be patient yeah and being strict that you know go to bed now. And, and sometimes that is hard especially like when you're an artist like and you got especially like an independent artist like myself like when you already got the music done it's hard not just to just put just put the music out straight away. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because you want to share what you've created. Like when you are as passionate about it, like when you're really like passionate about the music, like I am. Like and there's a lot of artists out there that are very passionate about it. Um, when you're really passionate about the music, you want to, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is that you create, you want to share it with the, with the world. You like, it, you you've not only made it for yourself, but you've made it for others to experience and to. Uh, you know, be able to enjoy, hopefully, in their own way, if you see what I mean, and relate to it or whatever in, in their own way, if you see what I mean. Um, well, that's another important thing, yeah. really, is passion. Yeah, you've got to be very passionate mm -hmm. about what you do in life. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I was talking about my borough vlogging channel. I do put a lot of passion into it, you know, and I kind of enjoy it. You know, and you put a lot of passion into your songwriting so on mm. and when you release your songs your passion shows to the world I think yeah you know, in a kind of way you know mm. you have got to put a lot of passion mm. into it mm. it's no good if you ain't got no passion mm. that's for sure mm. you know that's like giving up in a kind of way you know yeah. or not believing in yourself in the game you know do you know what I mean mm. and that I'm like I say a lot of people don't believe in themselves mm. in this world I feel or they don't think they can do it mm. Sadly, yeah. But you, yeah, I think everyone can. Mm. I think they can. But like you said, a lot of people lack the self-belief and the self-confidence in order to do a lot of things, you know. There'd be a lot more successful people out there in the world if more people believed in themselves mm. and actually took the steps to get started. Because sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes people have a vision and a desire or an ambition to do something. But they just can't seem to get started. But sometimes once people get started, they've already got the vision. Somehow they manage to get started or someone helps them to get started. That's all they needed. A kick start, if you see what I mean. A kick up the arse to say, you know, you know, get on with it, mm. kind of thing. And 
and then they end up, you know what I mean, being successful. You see what I mean? You know? Um, but yeah. yeah. So you got, you know, like I say, you got to believe in yourself, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Makes me feel happy, life, you know, sort of like, because I know that I'm quite creative. You know, I know that I can do a bit of digital art and share it on Facebook tomorrow, yeah. Mm. I'm not going to do that, yeah, because I just feel like I'm just going to focus on music now. Yeah. You know, I know how to do art in a kind of way, you know. Mm. I want to, I want to put a lot of passion into it in the future, my music, you know, and bring something to the world where I hear it. I want to leave something behind before I die, you know, I've got much left time left, you know, and I think it's good to leave something good behind in this world, you know, it's like, I mean, all those movies I do with my pigeons, you know, yeah. um, and I'm going to carry on doing it in the future a little bit, you know, and um, one day I'm going to be dead, yeah. you know, but people still enjoy my we'll videos. Be, yeah, be, yeah, and we'll be able to remember you, some people might be able to yeah. remember you by your videos. Or, or what, we're doing, what we're doing now. With yeah, that podcast, yeah. yeah. If you see what I mean, you know. Yeah, it's true. I mean, we're kind of being created by doing this, aren't we? You mm. know, like doing the philosophy podcast is your idea a few years back. Yeah. And... I enjoy it. Yeah. I can do it otherwise. And likewise, know. and likewise. And he, he, do it. here we are still here today. We are, you know, and I'm, you know, like looking forward to the future and talking about, um, you know, more subjects yeah. and um, learning more because mm. I feel like I'm learning by actually doing this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about these interesting subjects like creativity. Well, it, it gives us both the opportunity to, to, to kind of like delve into a topic. You see what I mean, and kind of like dissect it. You know, yeah. two of us sat here together talking about it and dissecting, dissecting whatever it is together, and coming up with our own ideas and our own opinions and our own um, perspectives and sharing it with the world. And I think um, it's, it's it's a beautiful thing, really. You know, um, yeah. I think like creativity is a very interesting subject. You know, and I think it probably. Talk about it for another few hours. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Because I think it, it goes on. Mm. But I, I think it's important to know in life that you got to remember that you, you're the one that's going to, you know, if, if it's your life and you've got to create it. You've got to create create your reality, most importantly. You are the, the, you are the um, universe. <laughs> yeah, you're the master of your own universe, essentially. You know, it's up to you what you believe in. And I'm not saying that. Yeah, I'm not saying you don't have to have faith, and you don't you don't have to have all these things because it's okay to do. It's okay to have faith. You know, I think it's important for, for people to have faith in something anyway. Um, but the reality is, is that every day that you wake up, it's up to you to create the life that you want. You've got to create the life in which you want to live. If you see what I mean, you have to try to create your heaven on earth. Yeah. Whatever your heaven on earth is, you know what I mean? Whatever brings you happiness and you're most passionate about and you love to do most. You know, as long as you're not, like we always say, as long as you're not hurting anyone or, you know, causing any harm to anyone or in any way, shape or form, then you should be free to do what makes you happy and what, you know, what you're passionate about and what brings you the most joy in life. Because at the end of the day, that's what life's about, isn't that, you know? Not all of life is not always about having fun and having joy. But at the same time, you have to have a balance, you know, you have to have a balance in life, you know, because otherwise, you know, you go crazy, you know. Everyone has to have challenges and face obstacles and all that. All that's great. But at the same time, you also have to have balance where times are good and you have fun and you, you know, you restore some normality to yourself, you know, so, yeah. Definitely. Anyway, mate. Before we wrap it up and call it a week, you know, call it an episode for this, you know, call it a week, you know, an a week, yeah, <laughs> call it a week for this, you know. Um, any final words? Any closing statements before we call it a night, mate, and wrap it all up? Yeah, I'll just say, just try to be more creative in life, you know. Yeah. Um, try to do things that you enjoy doing. Mm. Um, be passionate. Mm. Be positive. No good being negative. Mm. It's like um, 
like putting a black sheet over yourself in a funny way, yeah. or over your black. Um, you know, it's like um, watching TV, for instance. They say watching TV is like painting black paint over your third eye. Mm, yeah. Have you read that one? Yeah. Mm, yeah. I kind of understand that one mm. because you can. If you watch too much TV all the yeah. time, whatever, and you're being indoctrinated, but well, you're just doing it every day, you know, and you're not, you can't be really creative, can yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. You know, you're not being creative. You know, yeah. sometimes by watching other people mm. or watching TV, you can pick up ideas, and as long as you've got a little bit of time to sort of pick up on these ideas and do something creative yourself from those, what you've seen, you know, as yeah. long as you try to be creative, I think in life. You're not wasting time. No, no. I think it's yeah. when you're not being creative in life, you're not. You you are wasting. You're time wasting time. time. Yeah, that's yeah. what I think. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I might be wrong, but I think that you just gotta be positive and creative. Yeah. You know, because otherwise, you're just giving up or dying. Exactly. Being dead. Yeah. It's basically being dead. Mm -hmm. We're here to, to we're here to enjoy. Yeah. We're here to smile. And we are here to create. It's up to you to smile if it's raining or whatever, you know, at yeah. the end of the day, you know. Mm. So sometimes I don't have the best day, the most perfect day. Or some days not good as other others, but I'm patient. Yeah. I know that there's going to be a sunny day ahead, mm. really, so I mean, you know. The tides will turn. And I always know that I've got some, you know, I, I know that I look forward to life. Yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I just know that I've got a lot to, lot to look forward to. time to enjoy it now I feel yeah mm. that's important really having time to do the things that you enjoy if you don't you're going to get frustrated yeah of course yeah you have to have balance in life it's like you you've got a job you work yeah. hard you got married you, um, you got children and that yeah two children and you look after them as much you know spend time with them yeah but you also got a project of your own yeah and you're creating your own channel mm. and your own music channel yeah and at the same time you're working on that in your spare time every spare minute that you've got and if you didn't do that you wouldn't get anywhere no no basically and that's what it is it comes back down again to like we were talking about earlier and it's just about being disciplined yeah it's and making sure believing that in yourself and carrying on don't well, give up it's if you've got a goal you've got to be you've got to stay focused on your goal keep going up the ladder that's it like take step even sometimes like you've got to take baby steps like just keep going like it doesn't matter how long it takes just keep going mm. you'll get there eventually you'll get everything done and then, keep going. And then you'll keep, be, keep your head up high and then you'll be ready to go you get everything done you've got all your boxes ticked and then you say okay i'm ready to go keep your head up high even when it's raining exactly Exactly, you know, just got to stay focused. That's the main goal, you know. Because it does rain um, sometimes, and you just got to keep up, keep going. Yeah, that's yeah. what life's like. Mm. If you sort of mean, so when it's raining, you know, just keep going. That's yeah, all, that's all there is to it. That's it. Just yeah. keep going. Mm. Be strong. That's it. Stay focused. Be creative. You know, don't allow anyone to tell you what you can't, what you can and can't do. You know. Um, believe in yourself first and for foremost, you know, um, be strategic, you know, make a plan. Um, Get your sleep in. Yeah, you know. Be patient. Yeah, be patient, you know, greatness takes time, you yeah. know. Rome wasn't built in a day, as they always say, people like that expression, you know. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> I, I thought it was. Rome wasn't built in a day, as they say, every day you've got to lay your brick um, and keep striving forward, you know. So yeah, the pyramids were built on a day apparently. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, <laughs> good night. God bless. One love. We are the Philosophy Podcast. We'll be back again next week with a brand new episode. So please stay tuned for that. Yeah. <laughs>